Good morning, world. Today, a new day. The day after losing two cherished American icons, the most beautiful, Vera Fawcett, and the most talented, Michael Jackson. Today, I want to talk about Vera. Didn't know her. Knew only that she was a beautiful, beautiful girl there of the 70s. We all admired and we all, we all would probably have loved to have met her. She probably was also a very good person outside the celebrity world. I don't remember ever reading anything bad about her in the tabloids. But, but the most important thing about Farrah Fawcett for us people of the world to recognize is that her end was very painful. And I'm not talking about the pain of the cancer, although it was great. Having just lost my wife a year and a half ago to ovarian cancer, I know that pain. But I know the pain that she was going through as my wife did. The pain and suffering of not wanting to die. My wife was 60, Farrah was only 62. They were both born in the same year. Too, too young to die. And from what I read about her the last months, her spirit was there to fight and fight and fight. And certainly for her family, the close family, the son, um, the, the husband, um, nothing that any of you who have not going through this fight can understand the the depths of their sor of their sorrow at this minute. Even with Judy, the the extended family has no idea what we went through those years of of fighting it. It's just like losing that loved one that you see every day. It's not lo like losing a mother or a father that you haven't been around for years or losing a friend, you can get by that pretty fast and it's a natural order of things. But when you lose somebody so close to you that it hurts every day and every minute, I know the anguish of that family as I still suffer it to this day, a year and a half later. So what my message is to you today is still what it has been if you don't ever want to have to go through this fight, if you don't want to have to fight off the ravages of cancer, if you don't want to take your loved one to the hospital weekly for years and watch them waste away and watch your own life slowly fading away from that loss, then give generously to whatever agency is out there for you to give to to fight off the ravages of cancer because friends if you're not dealing with it now you might have to and just think of the dollars aren't there for the medical profession to research and research and research and make greater inroads than they've already made to give them the money to to fight off so you don't have to get the word that your wife has ovarian cancer or breast cancer and the men you don't get prostate cancer and liver cancer and anal cancer and your children don't have to fight off the ravages which will surely take them to early graves. Please, please always keep in your wills in, in, in your the, your, your dollars, whether it's a dollar or 50 cents, uh, give generously to the uh, cancer societies, to uh, agencies, uh, hospitals like the Fred Hutchinson out here in, in Seattle, to, to any, any place that is doing research or supporting families and children that are dying of this these terrible diseases, multiple 
and they all have to be fought individually by our researchers. So please, please keep it in your heart for yourself, for your children, for your wives, for your girlfriends, for your husbands, and for your boyfriends. It hurts too much to lose you people at early lives, and it hurts too much to have to put your loved ones into the ground. It's forever. They never come back. So please support cancer research today. Thank you very much.